semantic field of A moment, if you would. Are you two the famous Traveler and Paimon by any chance? We sure are! And who are you? My name is Wikos, a member of the Academia Extravaganza Planning Committee. Have you two heard of this festival? Yep, and that's exactly why we're here. Is that so? Looks like our advertising is working. Since you're both interested, would you mind if I gave you a brief explanation of the event? <clears throat> so, the Academia Extravaganza is a grand event run by the Academia with a long and storied history. To be precise, it can be divided into the Wisdom Gala and the Inter-Darshan Championship. The gala is held annually. During this time, all six Darshans will set up booths throughout the city and host guests to showcase the most fascinating aspects of their school, and thus increase their influence. On the other hand, the championship is held once every four years. Each Darshan will send a representative to vie for the position of Grand Champion. This year, the gala is being held alongside the championship, so the mood in the city is, as they say, at an unprecedented fever pitch. Got it! Cool! Thanks a bunch for the detailed explanation! You're most welcome. Answering questions regarding the Academia Extravaganza is my job. And... I actually do have something I would like to ask the two of you. Huh? Need our help with something? Well, let me begin by saying that this year's Academia Extravaganza is of utmost importance to us. Lesser Lord Kusanali and the Sages came up with a plan for the Academia to recruit talented people from the desert starting next year. As such, we've invited a great number of desert dwellers to take part in this festival, so they can hopefully experience the Academia's atmosphere ahead of time. I've heard that the two of you are famous across both the rainforest and desert. With your participation, especially in the Inter-Darshan Championship, more people will definitely come to appreciate the festival. Exactly! Or do you mean you want us to join a Darshan? Ugh. But then we would have to deal with the exams and essays and stuff like that. No need to worry. The championship participants have already been selected. I mean to invite the two of you as guest commentators. Your job will be to observe and record every part of the competition. There's no pressure. Just follow each match and enjoy the festival. Aside from that, we'll also prepare some compensation for your efforts. We won't have you working for free. That kind Sounds like a sweet deal. What do you think? Yes, two others, in fact. Their responsibilities will be somewhat different from yours. One of our organizers will explain the details to you later at the main venue. So, how about it? Would you like to take this commission? Wow, having fun while getting paid? This sounds awesome! The main event venue is at the outskirts of the Citadel of Regzar, and the organizer you're looking for is Karina. Tell her the situation and she'll get you set up. The championship is going to begin soon. I wish you a good experience serving as commentators. If you have any doubts, come find me anytime. Alrighty, off we go! Welcome, one and all, to the Academia Extravaganza! Now then! Allow me to reveal the prizes for this iteration of the Inter-Darshan Championship. Fabulous monetary rewards, research funds, a limited edition Genius Invocation TCG card, and the right to wear the Diadem of Knowledge! I believe that I need not elaborate as to how this is a symbol of great honor. She should be Karina, right? Looks like she's in the middle of something. Let's wait till she's less busy, then go introduce ourselves. The Diadem of Knowledge. What a perfect work of art. Every time I see it, I feel like I'm losing myself in its beauty. The one who proves fit to wear it must be a rare genius indeed. I believe that most of you have already seen the Diadem of Knowledge or have heard tales about it. Twenty years ago, a researcher named Sachin bought it for a large sum of Mora before donating it to the Academia. The generous championship prizes are also sourced from his sponsorship. Before we begin, allow me to express our gratitude to this researcher, who cannot be with us right now. Things can only get worse. 
Things can only go from bad to worse. Human nature begets conflict, and conflict begets ruin. From the beginning, the seeds of wickedness have been... Hey! Stop spacing out! Paimon called out to you, but you didn't respond. You okay? Did you stay up late without telling Paimon? All right. I'm sure we're all more than ready for the championship to begin. Now then, let's invite our six Darshan representatives to the stage. Our contestants are... Representing Amorta, Tainari! Representing Spontamod, Sino! Representing Ratawahist, Layla. Representing Haravatat, Farazan. Representing Kasharawar, Kave. And for Vahumana. Huh? Is Vahumana's representative not here yet? These introductions are pointless. Let's just get this over with. Uh, wait a sec. Why is he Vahumana's representative? Finally, our final contestant is Vahumana's representative, Hat Guy! Oh, so that's Hat Guy. I think I've seen him before. Uh, you know who he is? I've heard that he's a researcher from a different country who nominally belongs to Vahumana, where it is that he's written a lot of political analyses. His manner of speech hasn't made him popular amongst most other Vahumana researchers, but his comings and goings are quite irregular, so he doesn't interact with others much. Aside from his more controversial aspects, his perspectives are considered quite incisive. Vahumana has seen a dearth of new talent lately, and some of its existing ones are not currently at the Academia, so I suspect he might have been their only option. It's just kinda weird. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy who'd participate in competitions like this one. Now that we have our six contestants, the championship will soon begin. Who will triumph this time around? Hold on to your hats, because we're all on this ride together! Huh. We really do know a lot of the contestants. Oh, right. We're guest commentators, aren't we? So figuring out everyone's reasons for participating is in our job description. Let's go ask them when we go say hi. Especially him. Paimon still thinks it's weird that he's here. Kave, Farazan, Layla! Huh? Oh, it's you. Why are you here? Actually invited guest commentators. Our job is to record what happens during the competition. Is that so? In that case, I'll have to trouble you to catch the moment of my triumph on camera. Remember to shoot from behind at a lower angle. You know, to capture a senior's class. Don't get ahead of yourself now. Victory will obviously be mine. <laughs> You're far too young to even consider challenging me. Kasharwar or Ratawahist. You're all children, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, actually, I was going to ask, uh, how do you know me, Madame Farazan? Huh? You don't remember? I sometimes see you in the library at night. You even waved at me. Uh, uh what? I don't remember doing that at all. Huh. How strange. However, this is not the time for curiosity. I am Farozan, a household name in Haravatat. You are Layla from Ratawahist, I presume? I yes Good, then we are officially introduced. See? Simple as that. <laughs> I like respectful ones, by the way. Would you like to join my research group? 
Madame Faruzan, I'm quite sure this counts as poaching. Let's dial things down. I know, but it's been tough getting people these days. And research funding has been hard to secure. But once I win this tournament, it'll be a different story. So you're just here to increase the amount of funding you're getting? Well, not just that. What, are you curious about my reasons for participating in this event? Well, I suppose that's to be expected. You are our guest commentators, after all. There's been an influx of newly enrolled students, and they'll be paying close attention to this competition. If I do win, I'm certain that there will be no lack of students knocking upon my door. Moreover, research resources will be made available to the victor, so that will nix my funding issues. Therefore, my two juniors, I do apologize, but I fully intend to emerge triumphant. Uh, I'll do my best as well. At least I don't plan to lose too badly. So, why are you here, Layla? I don't know why, but a lot of people recommended me. I didn't sign up myself. I just woke up to find my name on the announcement board. Oh, I'm... I'm really nervous. I've been so worried about disappointing everyone that I've been... losing sleep. Stress not, young one. We must all experience failure to grow and mature. But, Madame Farzan, I don't want to fail. Oh, seriously? Everyone has such nice reasons for joining. Must I say? Yes, you do! We gotta record it! Um, well, you know, right? I want to buy some property. Oh, that's right! You wanna move out of all Hathams! Oh, uh, oh, what? I'll hate them? What about him? This has nothing to do with him. Oh, right. Sorry, Paimon has no idea what she was talking about. So, you want to use the grand prize to buy a place, right? Correct. Also, my father took part in the Interdarshan Championship when I was young, but he didn't win. Once I do, the right to wear that diadem will be mine. In a way, I'll be helping my father fulfill a dream of his. That's not a bad reason at all. You have ambition, youngster. Although your chances with me here aren't great, I believe your father would be most proud if the diadem of knowledge were bestowed upon you. Not that he'll have the chance to celebrate. My father passed away many years ago. They say he ran into quicksand while traveling in the desert. Oh, for you to have experienced such a thing. That must have been tough for you. <sighs> it's all in the past now, and life goes on, doesn't it? Let's change topics. I don't want to bring the mood down. All right. Earlier, you said that you want to use the prize Mora to purchase a home. Where do you live now? Do you live alone? Uh, <clears throat> uh well... Hmm. I also heard you mention I'll hate them just a moment ago. Isn't he also from Haravatat? Are you two hiding something from me? Uh, no, of course not! Why would you think that? <laughs> Paimon's definitely not involved either! We're gonna go interview other contestants now. Bye! You know, I was just thinking, how did the two of you meet? I was wrestling with a particularly tricky problem, and she happened to pass by while I was puzzling over it at the house of Dana. She then proceeded to... provide some comments. Provide some comments? I was bestowing instruction! <laughs> In truth, I have no intention of solving Kasharwar's problems for them. But I decided that this youngster seemed to have a decent attitude, and so we had a good chat. But ultimately, I am a Haravatat scholar, so please come to me with questions about linguistics next time. We meet again, you two. Hey, Tainori! We came here to check out this extravaganza event, and then they invited us to be guest commentators. Is that so? I heard that there would be guest commentators recording the proceedings with cameras, but <laughs> I didn't expect they'd be you two. It's a pleasant surprise that you're visiting Sumeru again while I'm still on leave. When everything comes together perfectly like this, 
I call it the biryani factor. Because it's always rice to meet stew again. Uh. Uh. So, Tainari, you're representing Amurta, and Sino is representing Spontamod. But haven't you both already graduated? Can alumni also take part in the competition? I had wondered the same thing. When I was told the news, I was actually more shocked than you are now. I later found out that anyone who has been a part of a particular Darshan has the right to participate. Graduation status has no effect. So that's a rule, huh? There are some restrictions, though. For example, sages cannot participate. Any given person can only participate in one instance of the championship, and so on. That's right. Also, there are two methods by which the Darshan representatives are chosen. One is self-nomination, and the other is to be recommended by over half of one's Darshan. You must have been the case of the latter, Tainari. I heard that quite a few of your juniors petitioned for your candidacy. Sometimes I wish I could clap a few of them over the head and tell them to spend that time on studying instead. <laughs> well, you can, but after some consideration, I realize this could be a good opportunity for me. Next month, we're having a public lecture on ecology at Gandharvaville. If I participate in this event, I might be able to utilize its popularity to promote the lecture. I'm not that concerned about becoming the champion, unlike someone here. Yes. I'm using the last of my leave for this. When I heard that a limited edition Genius Invocation TCG card was one of the prizes, I signed myself up. This year's card is a rare one indeed. It would be a shame if I missed out on it. Wait, is it some kind of super powerful card? No, it's a very common one. But it has a holographic layer. Uh, so... what's the point? It's very cool. Uh, Paimon meant apart from being very cool. That is reason enough. I shall do my all to emerge victorious and add it to my deck. As someone who doesn't play cards much, I can't quite relate. But it isn't surprising that everyone has their own reasons for taking part in the tournament. Fair enough. All right, let's go find someone else to question. I'm surprised you were willing to come to Sumeru City at all. Well, the atmosphere at the Academia has improved immensely since Azar and his ilk were deposed. Master has been busy recently, so he hasn't had the time to instruct me or try to convince me to return to the Academia. So I've been occasionally visiting the city these days. Trade and business are in greater abundance here, so it's much easier to acquire necessary research equipment. Um, so... What... What are you... Just call me Hat Guy. That's the name I use in Vahumana. Not a real name. So I can't go by a simple, ordinary name? Fine. Suit yourself. All right then, hat guy. Why are you taking part in the Interdarshan Championship? We're specially invited guest commentators, so play nice and answer our questions. You could be Matra for all I care. So what if I don't answer you? What then? <laughs> I'll tell you this much. I have an agreement with someone not to reveal my motives. You're not plotting something in secret, are you? Well, it's hard to say. Why don't you take a guess? Ugh, Paimon's had it with you! Fine, be that way. Then we won't ask you why you're participating. Instead, uh, why did you join Vahumana? You two sure like to poke your noses where they don't belong. If I don't say anything, are you going to annoy me to death? <sighs> I heard that the Vahumana researcher named Akaba was researching the Tatarasuna incident, so I wrote a few essays to refute his points. Later, when I was bored, I wrote some commentary on societal issues in Inazuma. I didn't expect Vahumana to consider me as one of them. <laughs> 
someone even invited me to a lecture or whatever. From start to finish, it was just the wishful thinking of idiots. A misunderstanding. There's your answer. Simple. But when Lesser Lord Kusanali heard about this, she went out of her way to get me registered in Vahumana. She used the name Hat Guy. Enough chit-chat. You're better off wasting your time with the other contestants. Someone's about to get very unlucky. Wanna guess who? How is anyone supposed to relax with you around? Uh, we've gotta stay alert and keep a close eye on him. Looks like Karina's got a moment now. Let's go chat with her. Enjoy the Interdarshan Championship. This will be one to remember, I'm sure. Ah, oh, you must be the guest commentators Vikas invited. I've heard about you. I saw you two having quite the lively conversation, so I thought it would be best to wait. Are you two free right now? We were actually looking for you, too! Excellent! Then please allow me to explain your job responsibilities in detail. First, please take these two things. The first item is a custom camera from the Academia. Please use it to record the competition as it unfolds. The second is an event-specific locator that will flag all participants' locations. It will also sound when one of them completes an objective. Wow! What a convenient little thing! Aside from you two, there are two other commentators. However, they will remain by the commentators' area and will not be following the contestants in real time. Speaking of which, you probably know them. I'll hate them and Nilu. Well, don't let me keep you, unless you have any questions for me. Hmm? Why do you ask? Really? I didn't see any such person. Could I ask when you saw him? Strange. I was on stage the entire time, and I didn't see anyone come up. Paimon didn't see anyone either! <laughs> Perhaps you're mistaken. However, if you have any leads on that matter, you can talk to me at any time. Hey, Traveler. Paimon. Long time no see. <gasps> Dia! Candice! You two are here as well! Ah, so they're two friends of yours. In that case, I'll take my leave. May you all have a wonderful time during the extravaganza. The Academia sent us both invitations, so Dia suggested that we come together. The villagers were also encouraging me to travel outside the village. <sighs> I couldn't find it in myself to turn them down. We're here now, so no point dwelling on that. Even though this extravaganza isn't a holiday or anything, it's still a big deal here in Sumeru. Merchants from all over will set up shop. There'll be tons of stuff to eat, use, and wear, more than you can count. I'm already set on helping you buy two new outfits. I mean, who wears the same thing at work and home anyway? I'm looking forward to it. <sighs> Just being able to relax and wander the streets freely has already made my day. So, Traveler, Paimon, you two want to come with? Uh, we'd love to, but we've got work to do right now. Aw, that's a shame. Let's hang out together when you're free then. Sure! In that case, Candace and I will head out first. Good clothing and fabrics are very much in demand. If you snooze, you lose. Oh, right. We should also get some accessories. No need to rush. I think we'll have a better time if we take things slow. See you two later. Feel free to come find us whenever you have the time. Hyman didn't think that Candace and Dia would come. Hanging out with them sounds like a great time. Still, looks like the competition's starting soon. Let's go over to where Alhatham is and see what's going on!